Friends, this is a time sensitive video that I wanted to share with you. News is that Pulse Chain Mainnet is finally launched and you need to know very important things to stay on top. If you don't want to miss making life changing money before its bridging happens. Friends, welcome to another video of Trade Invest Crypto. In this video, I will share some of the important information associated with Pulse Chain such as how to add the Pulse Chain network on MetaMask. How to add Pulse Chain token to the MetaMask? How to get onto your account? How to check your tokens? I'm also going to show you how to see whether you have the free PRC tokens assigned to you or your account. Total supply of Pulse Chain token, price of Pulse Chain token, and one of the important questions that everyone is asking, which is what is more valuable? Is it Pulse or Pulse Chain? Uh, folks, before moving forward, please note that I'm not giving any financial advice here. This video is just for an entertainment and education purpose. Investing in cryptocurrency is very, very risky. So do your own research before investing and don't invest with money that you can't afford to lose. So let's move on. So open this Pulse Chain website called as PulseChain.com. You can see its link on Richard Hart's Twitter account as well. So here on Richard Hart's one of the tweet, you can see that he has shared the Pulse Chain link here, right? Along with other links. Now, coming back to this PulseChain.com website, you will see that they have provided a button here to add Pulse Chain to MetaMask. We will come back to this later on. Now, scroll down, you see the Pulse Chain related network details here. If in case you want to add Pulse Chain network, on your metamask account so details like network details rpc url chain it etc that you can enter manually to add this pulse chain network to your metamask so let me share with you what is the shortest method so let me share you how to add this pulse chain network to your metamask very quickly and not manually so down below you have this block explorer so click on this link which is scan.pulsechain.com and then scroll down to the last here you will see add pulse chain link here so click on it your metamask will appear here and you can see that the network name network url chain id uh, currency symbol etc will be is populated here if you want you can verify these details with pulse chain website as well right so you can see that network name is pulse chain pulse chain and here is the url the same URL, chain ID is 369, 369, and currency symbol is PLS. So click approve, and then it will ask for switching the network. So right now I'm on Ethereum main net network. So click on switch network, and bravo, here you can see that Pulse Chain network has been added here. And you can see that I have currently one PLS token in my account. So now your Pulse Chain network has been added here. Now the next step is to add the PulseX token to your Pulse Chain network or the Pulse Chain MetaMask wallet. So go back to the Pulse Chain website here and click Add Pulse Chain to MetaMask. Upon which your MetaMask will appear. Okay, and here you can see that I have this option. So I will add, click on Add Token. Once I do that, I can see that PLSX token or Pulse Chain token has been added here. So we completed two steps that is adding the Pulse Chain network on MetaMask and adding the PulseX token to the MetaMask. And we kind of completed a third option as uh, as well that is how to get on to my account. So I saw my account. I have PulseX token as well. And in fact, I completed the fourth step also, which was how to check my tokens. So since I added the PulseX token, which I actually got airdropped to me since I sacrificed it. Okay, so I have this PulseX, these PulseX token in my account. So let's go back to this scan.pulsechain.com website and click on apps. So here we have different kind of apps. So PulseX, PulseRAM Bridge, Sacrifice Checker. So I was talking about this one. So this is another method using which I can see the sacrifice detail as well. So for that, I just need to connect my MetaMask with it and then approve. And here you can see that I have 
one PLS token. So this is the second way of checking your token. So, okay. So now let me show you how to check whether you have any free PRC token in your wallet or not. So come back to this app section, click on sacrifice checker, click on PRC 20 token scanner. Now click scan. So what it will do is it will search for different PRC 20 tokens and add them to your wallet. And these tokens will be the exact replicas of your ERC 20 tokens that are available on Ethereum chain and which are forked to Pulse chain. Please note that it will only reflect ETH chain token. Any other chains such as Binance, Avalanche, Polygon related tokens will not be reflected. So as you can see here, the scan is complete. So in my case, I did not find any PRC20 token. But in your case, if let us say any MetaMask appears, that means uh, there is a PRC20 token available for you that will be added later on into your MetaMask. Moving on. Now again, go back to this apps section and click on PulseX, which will route me to this page, which is app.pulsex.com slash swap, which means that PulseX mainnet is live. So you can swap any token or any airdrop tokens with another crypto token when the bridging is enabled. Right now it is not enabled, I believe, and uh, the prices of different currencies on this PRC20 which is a fork of ERC20 is kind of fluctuating. Now you may have a question where to see the PRC20 token contract address of different tokens in order to swap my tokens. So let's say if you want to swap your PLSX token with HEX and you want the token address of HEX, then all you can do is go back to this PulseX website or the scan.pulsechain.com uh, website. And here click on tokens and then click all and then in the search bar type the name of the currency that you want to check in my case I'm checking it for hex so click hex so type hex and then click enter and then you can click on hex so you can see the contract address of hex is appeared here you can try to copy this contract address by clicking on copy so your contract address is copied here so this is the way you can find the contract address of different cryptocurrencies on Pulse chain or PRC20 chain. Coming back to this PulseX website again. So if you want to add the, any liquidity, you can add the liquidity from this particular tab. By adding liquidity, you can get some rewards. You can also click on earn section and farm. You can farm here so there is this pls x and pls liquidity pair given here so you can also do pooling so if you click on pools you can do the pooling here as well but pools are not opened yet and this will be enabled once the bridging happens so before moving forward uh, friends uh, please like subscribe and share this video with your family and friends as we need your support to spread the word about our channel so now let's see uh, the total supply of uh, Pulse X token or the Pulse Chain token. So again, go to this scan.pulsechain.com website, click on tokens and then click all. And if you scroll down, you will see the Pulse X token here, right? So you can see that the total supply currently stays at around 143 trillion. And again, it's uh, deflationary in nature. So this count may go decrease in future as far as current holders are concerned you can see that currently we have 156,428 holders right now so this is about total supply now let's move on to the price we can get the rough estimate on the price of this token so go to the twitter handle which is pulse chain price and then scroll down you will see a pinned message here from the pulse chain price only now click on this first link which is DEX screener link. So you see that uh, the DEX screener page will open up showcasing all the token pairs. Please don't forget to follow us on Twitter as well. The link is available down below. So scroll down to this particular pair which is USDT PLSX pair. Click on it. So if you see here one USDT is equals to 73 PLSX tokens 
which means that the price of one PLSX token is roughly 0 0.0136 or 137. Okay. Again, each pair has different liquidity, so one can buy or sell the tokens where there is more liquidity. So let me go back. And if you see here, we have the most of the liquidity for this pair, which is PLSX and WPLS. If you're wondering what is WPLS, uh, well, WPLS is the wrapped pulse token. So let's move on to the next part to find out what's more valuable. Is it pulse or pulse shale? Well, in my opinion, pulse is more valuable because it has less supply. And how can I say that? Well, you can go to this uh, website again, scan.pulsechain.com and type PLS. Then you will see that its total supply is lesser than that of Pulse Chain. So Pulse, in my opinion, is one token one can buy right now. But remember one important thing. Pulse Chain has a burning a mechanism in place. So it's deflationary. So in future, the supply will decrease with people making more and more transactions. So its price will definitely go up as more and more uh, tokens will burn. Just to let you uh, know that 4.5 billion tokens are burned after 337k transactions in less than 24 hours. Okay, so you can visit this tweet from H with Hacks where she has shared that the burn mechanism is burning PLSX token quite efficiently. Please let me know in the comment section how many tokens and which particular token did you sacrifice for Pulse Chain? And do you think that it is worth sacrificing it. So this is it for this video, uh, folks. Uh, please like, subscribe and share this video with your family and friends so that they can uh, get aware of this very important info. Okay, so spread the word as much as you can or spread this video as much as you can so that they can make use of this fantastic opportunity. Now, still 95% of our viewers uh, haven't subscribed yet. So please do so. Stay healthy and prepare to be a millionaire in the next bull run. Thank you.